Hi, Sarah here from Red Rocking Bird and I'm really glad you stopped by my channel today. So find the template in the link below and we just need to attach it together making sure it's nice and straight and add the end pieces over the tabs and tape them or glue them in place. We're going to make a really super cute bracelet and it really is easy, simple and quick to make. If you haven't done already, please do consider subscribing. I would absolutely love you for it. So I've got this um, piece of cloth that I've had for so long. I bought it in Ikea a really long time ago. And so I'm going to use that as it, it's in my scrap pile of fabrics because I've never really had much use for it. And um, so I'm going to use that. So please do use absolutely anything you like. A nice thin cotton is what I find the best. So we need two of the same so I'm just going to pin it together all along with the right sides together and then cut out all along the edge. And then I'm going to remove the pins and add them in as we go right along. I think this is a really super little craft to do. It combines a bit of sewing with another little craft as well at the end. And there's lots of opportunities. Um, so here we just need to leave, make sure we leave a gap because obviously we've got right sides together and we need to turn it round the right way later. Preferably use a nice thin cotton for this. And later on I'm going to show you on out of fabric scraps. So we're just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it right around there. I've got my five-year-old filming me right now. <laughs> and so once we've sewn right the way around with an approximately quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, I'm going to snip off the very end and then clip into the curves. This just allows us, when we're going to turn it out in a moment, it just allows those curves to really curve. So we need to turn it right side out. It does take a little while because we've got quite a long section to do so just gently reach in and tease it all the way out. If you have a turning tool then actually use that but I find just using your fingers and taking a little bit of time works best. You don't want to go too much thinner on this otherwise it'd be even harder to turn. So use a blunt pencil or a chopstick and just make sure you get all those corners out and then we take it to the iron and we just need to iron it lovely and flat making sure that that gap there um, that the seam allowance is folded inside. Some of you may have seen my little bird sewing pattern and I hope you've had a go at that one and we'll also have a go at this one. And so there's our opening. We're going to stitch it shut. I like to use a ladder stitch and do it by hand. Alternatively, you can just top stitch all the way around the outside and that will close the gap as well. In one of my other videos, I did some air dry clay jewellery and made this little item here. And so for this project, I did a similar thing and I made some air dry clay rings. I just used some cookie cutters and just cut them out and let them dry. You can sand them down, you can paint them, you can have them any colour you like. If you don't have any air dry clay you can actually make your own air dry clay and use it for this. It would be wonderful because you can get some absolutely beautiful colours. For this homemade clay you can find my video and recipe in the link below. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I love wearing mine and I think it's such a unique way to make a piece of jewellery that Every one of them will be completely different and your friends will love them I'm sure, why not make them some? And so another way if you don't have any clay or a ring is to use a bottle top here. So I've got a plastic bottle top and I'm simply just cutting a ring out of this. So I always believe that if we haven't got something we can always make something to fit that purpose. And so this is my one way of doing this. There's so many alternative ways. You could use a washer from the garage if, um, if you've got one of those. 
so there we go cut the back off as well and then I simply got some string in this case nice neutral string and if you get a little bit of glue or I prefer a bit of hot glue I don't have mine with me just at the minute so all you would simply do is add dabs of hot glue and completely wrap that ring up with the with the twine or the rope or the um, the string there or some wool or yarn just see what you have at your home and just try it and of course I love always love using my scrap fabrics so we're going to make one out of the scrap fabrics trim them up and square them off like these and then just right sides together and then just sew them all together in a big long straight line just keep going until you've got enough to fit the whole template so I've just gone ahead and done mine and then sewn right around it and cut the edge off there or you can cut the edge and then sew whichever you prefer and there we go a great alternative and a great way to use up your scrap fabrics and so there we have it I did exactly as I did before and that one will go brilliantly with the little the little ring that we made and so to wear it all we need to do is fold it in half add the ring over the top simply place your arm your hand through if you do struggle with this maybe get a friend or a family member to help and then all you do is wrap both around and then we tie a knot and then tie another knot it is a little tricky but you will get used to tying it you will I find that um, I just put the end there in my teeth give it a little tug and then you can then tie it again and I think this has been a very good use of my spare bit of Liberty fabric that I had I'm sure some of you have made a garment or a bag and are left with long strips of fabric at the end well this is a perfect way to use them up and then you get one that matches your outfit so even better and as I say if you use up your scrap fabric to make one better still absolutely wonderful these would make absolutely wonderful gifts a birthday gift a Christmas gift and really quite simple quick and easy to make and you can make them completely unique by just adding that little ring that is has that extra touch as I say you can paint them and make them completely different so when you put it on you can just tease it into place this fabrics a little thicker and so it's just a bit different I really like the one I have on my wrist here actually because it's the thinnest of cotton fabrics and it just feels quite silky quite nice um, I do love them all I think I'm going to get some more bits of fabric maybe specially to do some of these for I'd quite like some khaki green camouflage type fabric I think that would look super cute with a really bright ring in there so many options try it and see how you get on um, do send me a comment and see what you think and I'd love it if you would subscribe so please do and see what else I have up my sleeve happy stitching everyone bye for now